Does it also, what well, you were saying, uh, Jimi Hendrix, how does it go with musicians? Do you, do you rate certain musicians more than, that you were saying, well, he's far out of reach? Yeah, there is, there Hendrix? is. Hendrix for sure, but it's, uh, for me to say that, it's nothing new, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been said a million times and it's... No, but maybe for you, drumming, drumming-wise. Drumming-wise, drumming -wise, for me, there's two drummers that I look on it and it's, it's like, wow. You know, it's Bill Ward from Black Sabbath, where I think he was a little uh, unlucky in a way, because he was a, coming at the same time as John Bohan, and uh, Zeppelin was way bigger. So I think he is a little underrated. But stuff that Bill Ward did on the drums, together with Bohan, they were like out of their mind, you know. For me, that's one of the heroes that I put together with Pelé and stuff, and Stuart Copeland too from Police. What made them specifically, well, let's say Bill Ward and then Stuart Copeland, well, what do you admire specifically in Bill Ward? Energy. Energy? Energy over technique. Only technique, for me, it, there's no soul. You can have the best technique in the world, like uh, Newport, he's amazing, or other drummers who play technical stuff, but it doesn't hit me. The same way for me as a Bill Ward or Stuart Copeland, the, the, the energy they put on the drums, for me, it's, it's very important. And Stuart Copeland, what does, he, what does he bring? I think he brings a lot of energy and I also an, an extra where he was trying new things on the drums, where he was trying like to mix reggae and uh, dub and, and different you know, styles on his drumming while he was playing something very poppy. You know? So I like that as a musician, like he was challenging to do more instead yeah. of just the simple beat, you know. Yeah. I think he, he was also focusing on, on dynamics within one song. Yeah, for and, sure. And for you, um, well, the first question I have about your drum kit, who gave you your first drum kit? Do you still recall? Well, actually, that's a funny story because I didn't have a, a, a proper drum kit for many years. All I had was a snare, a floor tom, and a cymbal. And that's how I wrote a lot of the stuff for the first Sepultura album. And uh, that was my mom and my dad who gave me. But it wasn't like, uh, like a drum set. You know, when you get a drum set, now I think about it, it's like, man, I couldn't imagine if I got a real drum set, how happy I would be. Which, at the end of the day, it's cool because it made me play better by having only those elements when I started. So now I, when I get on the drums, I, I create more stuff because I had that in the beginning, mm -hmm. that challenge. But do you still have those well, drum, drums? No, I don't because that's the problem with the... We started out so early, like 14, 15, and we moved so much into different places that I don't have a lot of those uh, things that I had when I was growing up. Moving from houses and then letting people borrow certain stuff and... So I don't have that much of material things with me. That's kind of like, a, it's bad and it's good because I'm not, so, not that attached mm -hmm. to it. But I would like to have it yes. if I had a chance. But it, it's not that something that for me that it's that terrible, you know. Okay. Um, well, I think you started really experimenting, I think, uh, in the early 90s. Um, is there one thing that, that, uh, well, that made you experiment? Was there one thing that happened? Maybe that you that you decided to experiment more, because like saying the the, the uh, chaos CD elms and the roots elms, you're really into heavy experimental stuff. Yeah, I I think one thing that made me really uh, try more different stuff, it was uh, definitely after from a rise to chaos AD, where I was trying some different beats like samba and tribal stuff, and I saw how that it was as powerful as the stuff that I was doing before. So at that point, I knew that I could go really deep into that and still it, it would be something with the energy that I wanted and with the power that I wanted. That, that was my main concern. It was not to do it like just for, the, just for the technical or just to say like, yeah, I use rhythms from Brazil. I want those rhythms to really to fit what I was trying to do. Is there one song or maybe one, one uh, or song from Brazil that's Samba song or something that you were saying, well, those drum patterns that I was experimenting with and then I uh, uh, combined with, well, what I was doing at the time. See, the thing is, I started to play drums 
and, and by playing samba and, and Brazilian rhythms. And that was when I was seven. And only when I was about 12, that's when I got into rock. So samba for me was my first, okay. my first influence on drums. And then when I was 12, 11, then I was like, wow, I want to play rock. And I forgot about samba and I was like, I was trying to play like, you know, whoever drummers that I was looking up at the time, you know, like I said, like Bill Ward and all those guys. And I was trying to do everything kind of like they do. And then later I found out that I could bring all the, the, the my real beginning of a drummer to, to what I do today, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I still do it.